Welcome to another short episode on my English YouTube channel. In this video, I will talk about an error message that has been causing a lot of troubles in the past few days. I will talk about what the reason behind it is and how I can assist you in solving this problem. If you're also experiencing this issue, stay tuned until the end, drop a like and leave me some words in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, activate the notification bell. If you want to support me, consider subscribing my German YouTube channel or even become a member. As always guys, I am Alex and now I would say let's do this. In the last few days, I've been receiving messages via WhatsApp or email. About every 10 minutes, people have been telling me that out of nowhere, the Solax X3 hybrid inverter are displaying the TSP run and boot error message and the inverter just won't start up anymore. In the past few days, I've managed to get countless systems running again with this error message. All of this system that I've been presented with regarding this error message have had one thing in common. Most people will be aware that the firmware for the Solex X3 Hybrid Inverter consists of two files. One ARM file and the other is the TSP file. All these systems that suddenly failed to boot due to this error message, even though they had been functioning perfectly until then, strangely had the latest version of the ARM file but an older DSP file. This means, for whatever reason, two files were installed on the system that weren't compatible. All the affected individuals have assured me that they hadn't sent the serial number of their dongle to me or any other installer for an update. Nonetheless, this system unfortunately received only an half update recently. I suspect, even though I don't have any specific information about this, that Solax themselves roll out updates. However, it's important that before applying an update, you should generally check certain conditions on the specific system. Otherwise, there's a risk that the update may fail and a file could become corrupted. I suspect that this has happened to many people. However, I don't know exactly what has occurred. But as I mentioned, when I perform an update for someone, I check the system to ensure that all criteria are met and then I check the system again to ensure that it is indeed functioning properly. If an update fails due to reasons like the internet connections dropping, which could certainly happen to me, I naturally perform the process again until everything is working once more. If you are always up to date with the latest firmware version, no one can inadvertently install an update anymore. If you still have old files on the system and it suddenly stopped working, you now know the reason behind it. To find out how you can stay automatically up to date with the latest firmware version, check out the video description below or my recent videos on updates. In my next episode, I will talk about the backup capable installation of the Solax X3 Hybrid Inverter and the EPS box. I will talk about the differences and features of internal and external grid installations. If you enjoy my content, I would appreciate a like or some words in the comment section below and we will see each other again in the next episode.